Welcome back, everyone. This is Traditional Muzzleloader. My name is Steve Sells. In today's video, I'm going to show you highlights from the Hawking Classic I recently attended. Now, this event is centered around the 200th anniversary of the opening of the Hawking Rifle Shop in St. Louis, Missouri. It was held on the historic homestead of Daniel Boone, just outside of Defiance. Now, this is such a beautiful location. There were so many displays of Hawking rifles, so many interesting seminars and people to meet. There's just no way I can show you all of it within the time constraints of this format. So what I'm going to try to do is show you some of the highlights in the form of a slideshow and I'm going to show you video at the end of what was the high point of the event for me, being allowed to load and shoot an original Sam Hawking rifle. And I'll also show you some video at the archery range shooting my primitive longbow. So I hope you enjoy my video tour of the Hawking Classic. These are photographs of the original Sam Hawking rifle I was allowed to load and shoot. This rifle would have been built between 1840 and 1860. It's an extremely robust rifle, and all indications are it was used to shoot a few buffalo. Here is my own personal Hawking rifle on the table, along with the original Sam Hawking. Let's see how she shoots. <laughs> that was worth the drive. The dark spot on the left is where I hit the target. And of course, I had to run my own hawking through its paces. Bonus target on the archery range was a head of cabbage. In spite of the high winds, I was able to get a few arrows on the target. I'd like to thank the folks at the National Muzzleloading Rifle Association, the Gimmer Muzzleloading Gun Club, and the folks at Daniel Boone's Historic Homestead for putting together such a wonderful event. 
If you have any interest at all in Hawking rifles or early American history, you should plan to attend the Hawking Classic next year. I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you're interested in learning more about traditional muzzleloading firearms or the rendezvous reenactment of the fur trade period, visit the website at traditionalmuzzleloader.com. Until next time, shoot straight, and remember, keep your powder dry.